Good. My name is Cam Scully and I will be your host in this video. OKRs are very useful because they can be connected and aligned throughout any organization. After OKRs have been aligned at the highest level, the key to alignment is to create a set of OKRs throughout the company that align with the highest level OKRs. I should mention that the alignment should be both vertical and horizontal. Let me illustrate this using diagrams. The vertical alignment of OKRs is up and down throughout the organization. While the horizontal connection is literally across the organization, connecting both vertically and horizontally. It takes some skill and planning, but just remember that the example in this video will be on what you see right now, horizontally connecting. Let's walk through an example so I can show you how to connect horizontally. Here's a nice generic example of an objective we could see at the business unit level. Improve overall on-time delivery record. I could have chose a top-level OKR example, uh, since the alignment process is the same, but since we will go with the business unit level, I can show you how teams can align horizontally. The key results for this objective aren't pertinent to this video and just add complexity, so let's skip over those. And let's jump to a specific example of a team OKR that spawned from the business unit level OKR. It seems that the shipping team believes that, in order to help the business unit improve its overall on-time delivery record, it should improve organization around the shipping dock. And some key results for this objective could be 1. Reduce overcrowding around the shipping dock by 20%. 2. Improve coordination with the sales team by 50%. And 3. Improve coordination with the truck feet by 30%. Okay, now here is where our horizontal connecting begins. What we can do is add a column that indicates dependency on other teams or business units. We start by simply answering yes or no to whether there is a dependency on the other areas of the company. And you can see that for numbers 2 and 3, the answer is yes, there is a dependency. Notice that there is a number that goes with the yes answers as we are about to add a note for each. You can see that note 1 states that the shipping team depends on the sales team to communicate and coordinate rush order information. We can infer that the organization around the shipping dock is somehow linked to that. And along the same lines, the second note states that the shipping team needs to work with the truck fleet to reduce truck fill cycle time. So at this point, let's assume that all of the teams have laid out their OKRs and have indicated dependency with some detail around the particulars of the dependency. What's next then? Meetings, yes, meetings. Many people feel this is a bad word, understood. However, high quality productive meetings are an essential element of strategic success. These OKR meetings are focused and high quality. There are different types of meetings, as you know. Let's look at our first option here, which would be a meeting between the shipping team and the sales team. Each team would bring its list of OKRs, especially those that have a dependency on the other team. We already established that the shipping team depends on the sales team for one OKR, and maybe there's another, and maybe the sales team has a dependency on the shipping team as well. The key here is for each team to present its dependencies and iron out an action plan for coordinating accomplishment. A simple descriptor of this type of meeting would be the one-on-one -on -one meeting. Another possibility would be to add the truck fleet to the meeting and then all three teams can present and discuss their interdependencies. We could simply call this the multiple teams meeting. And another option is to involve all teams in the business units for one large retreat style meeting where all interdependencies are presented, discussed, and planned for. As you can imagine, the arrows would be flying during this approach. This third style of meeting is what Paul Nevin and Ben Lamort referred to as the mass connect in their book called Objectives and Key Results, Driving Focus, Alignment, and Engagement with OKRs. While this might appear complex, and sometimes it probably is, their book lays out an agenda to try to keep it simple and practical.
Okay, now let's have a quick recap. OKR should be connected and aligned, and the connection should be from both the vertical and the horizontal perspectives. For horizontal alignment, we need to establish dependencies across units and teams. This will require productive, focused meetings with other groups that you depend on. And of course, other groups are going to depend on you. If you follow the approach in this video, you will be amazed at the results you can achieve. I hope this video has been useful to you. If you would like to discuss, please don't hesitate to get in touch. And please keep in mind that online services are always available. Thank you for watching.